Welcome back to the Java lesson where we are talking about Zip and Unzip using Java. This is the fourth part of uh, this series where we will discuss about how to decompress a zip file. So let's start. Uh, these are the steps which we require to follow in order to unzip a zip file with the help of Java programming language. The first one is requirement and it is source file and the destination folder. Then if destination folder doesn't exist, we have to make the folder, then creating file input stream object using source zip file and create zip input stream object, then get the zip entry object and if zip entry is not null, then we have to loop and write the content into file output stream object. So these are small steps we have to follow to decompress a zip file. So let us go to see by the program. First of all, we need to import some uh, packages that we have already done in our previous video and let me create a class as unzip demo with a method public static void main string arguments and now let me add two string variables for source and output folder so first one is static string type of source zip file we have created in our previous video the com.zip so uh, we will try to decompress or unzip the com.zip file and the target folder will be uh, output folder is equal to zip out so zip out will be there a folder in which we will decompress or unzip our file that is com.zip now we will create a method to unzip and the method I'm going to keep name as do unzip with two necessary things the zip file and the output folder now we need a byte up of buffer I'm keeping 1024 bytes size since our code will throw an IO exception so we will try and add a catch block and print the exception now in try block folder exists or not if it is not exist then we have to create the folder so let us make a folder object for the output folder and check that if this folder doesn't exist then we have to make the folder with the help of make the error method so in this way we have created our destination folder if it doesn't already exist. Now create file input stream object on the zip file and then zip input stream ZIS by passing FIS into the constructor of zip input stream class. And now we need to get the entry object with the help of get next entry method. Now we have to loop until it is null. Let us see. First of all, we will get a file name. Then uh, we need a file object with its path. And now I'm uh, displaying the uh, path by using print ln method the file being unzipped next file dot get absolute file so this will show that which one file is going to be unzipped with its proper path now let's create a, a directory if the file exists inside some directory get parent will complete path and then we will uh, call the make dirs method so that complete tree structure will be created there and then file output stream object for next file now we need to loop to write the content while len is equal to zis dot read and the size to read is buffer is not equal to minus one then we will write the content into fos and when the content is written on file or position object we will close the fos object and then 
we will go to the next entry next entry object that is next file to be unzipped in the target folder now if the while loop is finished that means we have unzipped all the folders and files in the target folder so now we have to close the input stream object first close the entry and then close the object so this is the complete program we need to write to do unzip and now we can call this do unzip method inside the main method so we need to create the object of this class the class name is unzip demo and then pass the necessary argument in do unzip method and that is source zip file and output folder so our program is finished we have done every steps here first of all we kept source file and destination folder then created a do unzip method where uh, we have kept a byte array size to write the size of content into file output stream and now we have created a output folder if it doesn't exist then created a zip input stream object to get each entry uh, to get each entry in zip file zip entry object is uh, here with the help get next entry method then we loop until the zip entry object is null and get the name of file create the folder if there is any and then loop and then write the content of particular selected file into fos then close the fos and continue with the next zip entry object and finally close the necessary open stream as we have finished our work and now we need to uh, test the program so let us go to compile there is some error cannot find symbol get next entry There is a spelling mistake here, zip entry, zip entry object. The compilation is done and we have already made a zip file as comp.zip in previous videos. So just I am going to unzip that comp.zip file. Let us run the program Java and then unzip demo to see the result. The file being unzipped, JTrain zip out images first folder and image one. JTrain zip out images image three dot jpg. Image three and image four are inside the images folder, and image one and image two are inside the first and second folder. So inside first we have image one, inside second we have image two, and inside images folder we have image three and image four. So let us go to see. Uh, the uh, tree structure let us see the unzipped file here <coughs> this is the zip out folder where images folder is created and inside images there are all four contents the first has first image the second has second image and the third fourth are inside the root folder that is image so hence we have uncompressed our uh, zip file which we have created in the previous video Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe to be in touch with your favorite channel Java Mitra.